Chapter 15 Saul's Disobedience Samuel said to Saul, Yahweh sent me to anoint you to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore, listen to the voice of the words of Yahweh. Thus says Yahweh of armies, I have marked that which Amalek did to Israel, how he set himself against him in the way when he came up out of Egypt. Now go and strike Amalek, and utterly destroy all that they have, and don't spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing baby, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Saul summoned the people and numbered them into Laam, two hundred thousand footmen, and ten thousand men of Judah. Saul came to the city of Amalek, and laid wait in the valley. Saul said to the Kenites, Go, depart, go down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites. Saul struck the Amalekites from Havilah as you go to Shur, that is before Egypt. He took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the cattle and of the fatlings and the lambs and all that was good, and wouldn't utterly destroy them, but everything that was vile and refuse, that they destroyed utterly. Samuel denounces Saul. Then the word of Yahweh came to Samuel, saying, It grieves me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he is turned back from following me, and has not performed my commandments. Samuel was angry, and he cried to Yahweh all night. Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning, and it was told Samuel, saying, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set up a monument for himself, and turned and passed on, and went down to Gilgal. Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said to him, You are blessed by Yahweh. I have performed the commandment of Yahweh. Samuel said, Then what does this bleeding of the sheep in my ears and the lowing of the cattle which I hear mean? Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the cattle to sacrifice to Yahweh your God. We have utterly destroyed the rest. Then Samuel said to Saul, Stay, and I will tell you what Yahweh has said to me last night. He said to him, Say on. Samuel said, Though you were little in your own sight, weren't you made the head of the tribes of Israel? Yahweh anointed you king over Israel, and Yahweh sent you on a journey, and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are consumed. Why then didn't you obey the voice of Yahweh, but took the spoils, and did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh? Saul said to Samuel, But I have obeyed the voice of Yahweh, and have gone the way which Yahweh sent me. I have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took of the spoil, sheep and cattle, the chief of the devoted things, to sacrifice to Yahweh your God in Gilgal. Samuel said, 
Has Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as idolatry and teraphim, because you have rejected the word of Yahweh. He has also rejected you from being king. Saul's Confession Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of Yahweh and your words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now, therefore, please pardon my sin and turn again with me, that I may worship Yahweh. Samuel said to Saul, I will not return with you, for you have rejected the word of Yahweh, and Yahweh has rejected you from being king over Israel. As Samuel turned about to go away, Saul grabbed the skirt of his robe, and it tore. Samuel said to him, Yahweh has torn the kingdom of Israel from you this day, and has given it to a neighbor of yours who is better than you. Also, the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he should repent. Then he said, I have sinned, yet please honor me now before the elders of my people and before Israel and come back with me, that I may worship Yahweh your God. So Samuel went back with Saul, and Saul worshipped Yahweh. Then Samuel said, Bring here to me Agag, the king of the Amalekites. Agag came to him cheerfully. Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past, Samuel said. As your sword has made women childless, so your mother will be childless among women. Samuel cut Agag in pieces before Yahweh in Gilgal. Then Samuel went to Ramah, and Saul went up to his house, to Gibeah of Saul. Samuel came no more to see Saul until the day of his death, for Samuel mourned for Saul. And Yahweh grieved that he had made Saul king over Israel. Chapter 16 Samuel anoints David as king. Yahweh said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided a king for myself among his sons. Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. Yahweh said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to Yahweh. Call Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do. You shall anoint to me him whom I name to you. Samuel did that which Yahweh spoke, and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him, trembling, and said, Do you come peaceably? He said, Peaceably. I have come to sacrifice to Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. He sanctified Jesse and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. It happened, when they had come, that he looked at Eliab, and said, Surely Yahweh's anointed is before him. But Yahweh said to Samuel, Don't look on his face. 
or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For Yahweh sees, not as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but Yahweh looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, and made him pass before Samuel. He said, Neither has Yahweh chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. He said, Neither has Yahweh chosen this one. Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. Samuel said to Jesse, Yahweh has not chosen these. Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your children here? He said, There remains yet the youngest, and behold, he is keeping the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send and get him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. He sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and withal of a beautiful face, and goodly to look on. Yahweh said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of Yahweh came mightily on David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. David serves Saul. Now the Spirit of Yahweh departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from Yahweh troubled him. Saul's servants said to him, See now, an evil spirit from God troubles you. Let our Lord now command your servants who are before you to seek out a man who is a skillful player on the harp. It shall happen, when the evil spirit from God is on you, that he shall play with his hand, and you shall be well. Saul said to his servants, Provide me now a man who can play well, and bring him to me. Then one of the young men answered and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a comely person, and Yahweh is with him. Therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse, and said, Send me David, your son, who is with the sheep. Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a young goat, and sent them by David his son to Saul. David came to Saul and stood before him. He loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Please let David stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. It happened, when the evil spirit from God was on Saul, that David took the harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him.